What's up guys, my name's Rectified and in today's episode I'll be teaching you how to get another unique weapon in Fallout 3. And in today's video I'll be teaching you how to get the Kneecapper which is a unique variant of the Sawn Off Shotgun. Now, where you need to go to get this is you need to come here on the map to get a shade and I'll just show you where that is right now. And yeah, as you can see here, get a shade. It's in the bottom left corner of the map so it shouldn't be too hard to find, you just follow this um, rail right here wherever it's going, the um, highway, and you'll see two houses and you want to go into the one on the right, the one that has the Nuka Cola sign, and um, you want to go inside and talk to this woman called Sierra, and she'll take you on this tour, and after you do that you want to leave, and you'll meet this guy, so first we're just going to go straight inside, and you, we're just going to talk to her, she's fleeing, uh, can I talk to you? Sierra Petrova does the name. Good to see a new face in Girder Shade. I take it you're here to check out my Nuka Cola collection and take the tour. Yes, of course. Well, come on then. Let me show you around. But no free Nuka Cola until the end of the tour. All right, so she'll take you on this tour, and you'll have to listen to her. When Nuka Cola was invented by John Caleb Braverton in 2044, it quickly became the world's most popular soft drink. The Wonder Drink soon drew a dedicated following, which prompted the Nuka Cola Corporation to release many promotional items like these. By 2067, a Nuka Cola machine such as this rare, pristine model could be found on almost every street in America. Even in today's crazy world, Nuka Cola is still the number one choice of refreshment among Armageddon survivors. As promised, here's a little pick-me-up. An ice-cold Nuka-Cola. Just look at the frost on the bottle. So cold and delicious. Pardon me. <clears throat> I tend to lose myself when I hold on to a Nuka-Cola. Before I get to the little proposition I have for you, let me tell you a little bit about Nuka-Cola Quantum. Quantum never heard of it before, even though we have. Well... Right before the bombs fell, the good folks at Nuka-Cola developed what they hoped was an improvement on the original formula. Calling it Nuka-Cola Quantum, it was said to have twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste! So, what went wrong? Well, the flavor certainly wasn't the issue. The public was just split on the unique feature of the Quantum's appearance. You see, to make it stand out on store shelves and to give it that extra kick, the formula called for a mild isotope. The effect was a drink that not only boosted your energy, but also glowed with a bright blue light. Wait, did you say that this has isotope in it? As in, it's radioactive? Oh no, only ever so mildly. No ill effects were ever recorded. Well, it does have the unique property of making your... Um, your pea glow. Oh, that's interesting to know. Um, what's your interest in all this? I love the stuff! I can't get enough of it! I thought I was hooked on regular Nuka-Cola, but the Quantum beats it by a long shot. I've got to have more! So that's where I come in, I guess. That's right. You bring me Nuka-Cola Quantum, and I pay you. Handsomely, I might add. For every bottle you bring me, I pay you some caps, you know, for expenses. But if you're super cool and find like enough bottles to fill my Nuka-Cola machine, 30 and all, I've got a super secret cool prize for you. Okay, Sierra, you've got a deal. Oh, goody! I can taste the quantum already. Good luck to you, sweetie. Okay, so she's just giving us the quest of recovering 30 bottles of Nuka-Cola quantum. And after you get all them bottles, you can trade that in for money. But we're not going to do that, and you don't really have to do that for the quest. 
really. You just have to start the quest to be able to get the unique weapon. And you gotta say, I have to go now. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Alright, so we're just gonna go out this door, but before we do, I have to mention, you're gonna meet up with this guy called Ronald, and he's gonna offer you to pay more caps if you give him the Nuka Cola, so after we've talked to him, instead of doing that, we're just gonna kill him. And we're gonna take the unique weapon off him, because that's what he has. Hey, pal, what were you doing in Sierra's place? I was just checking out Sierra's Nuka, Nuka Cola collection. That better be all you were checking out. I don't like guys messing with my woman. I'm not messing with anything. Good. I aim to keep it that way. She's a fine woman. I'd love to get closer to her if you know what I mean. What are you driving at? Wow, you are as naive as you look. How do I put it? I'd love to do the horizontal bop with her, you know, plow her bean field. Come on, kid. You can say anything. Now you're speaking my language. Well, only problem is she won't give it up for me. That's where you come into the picture. Oh really? Sounds interesting. Go on. I know she's asked you to find her some Nuka-Cola Quantum. Heck, she asks everyone that wanders through here. What I'm proposing is you still look for the drinks, but instead of bringing it to her, you bring it to me. She'll be so impressed that I got all the Nuka-Cola for her, that she'll melt in my arms like butter. I pay you the same she was going to pay, and everyone's happy. Yeah, sure. I'm always for making more caps. Thought you might. Good. I'll see you soon, then. Okay, so after you've talked to him, instead of doing that for him, you want to kill him, so I'll do that right now. Okay, so once you've killed him, you want to search him for the weapon. And after you've took the weapon, I'll just show you what the stats are right now. So, as you can see, it does a damage of 37, has a weight of 5, and a value of 72. And that's pretty good considering it's in low condition right now. And if we repair it with our other Sarnoff shotgun... It now does 41 damage, which is great, because that's also increased the value quite a lot. Still weighs the same though, and we've got a lot of shells for it. And I'm just going to show you some of what it looks like right here. See? Then first person and um, third person. And I'm going to just show you some of the gameplay right now, so I'll be back once I've finished doing the gameplay. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that footage. This is actually a great unique weapon, and I think it could be better than the terrible shotgun as well. As you can see from that gameplay footage, it did like probably a one or two headshot kill. But it's really good, and it's really easy to get ammo for this as well. And it's really good against raiders. I'm not too sure against super mutants. Definitely going to be good against ghouls. But um, yeah, that's how to get this unique weapon, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to follow me on Twitter, because I've got a Twitter account that I made in June, June, I mean, sorry, July, I mean, January, yes, January. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. Bye.